Previously on Lala Loopsy Popular. Holly, I caught the video of them kissing. Yeah. I'm breaking up with you. What? Be more careful this time. Mm -hmm. I would say I know how you feel, but I don't because I've never actually had a boyfriend. What, really? You? I'd have thought you'd have had a boyfriend. Face it, Tia. You shouldn't have done it. Get over it. You've just lost yourself four friends. What, you just expect to come running back to me now you have no other friends? I know what happened, Tia. <sighs> I never want to see his ugly face again. I don't want to mention his name. He is a lying, stupid, disgusting piece of crap. I thought that boy was born with a brain, but I was wrong. Whoever filmed us is going to pay. Ugh. I'm going insane. Snap out of it, Tia. Snap out of it. Katie? Yes, Mom? I've got to go out. Can you look after Libby for me? Okay. <laughs> hey, Lib. <laughs> Tia! <laughs> Tia! <laughs> mm, so hungry. Oh well, if I eat this, I'll get fat. One slice of cake won't hurt. After all, Mom won't know. Hey, Lib. Don't tell mom. <laughs> Shut up! I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't... I didn't mean... <laughs> Hi, Amber. Uh, do you want to sit with us at lunch? I mean, if you're not... Okay. Is it okay with you if my friends come? Yeah, no problem. Hey Amber, is it true you're going out with Liam? I saw you talking to him yesterday. I, I don't think so. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. <laughs> you two make such a cute couple. And now Tia's single, she can hook up with Dan, just like she always wanted to. Okay, I'm in charge of the ship names. I'll make the wedding cake. I'll be the priest. <laughs> well done, Amber. Why are you planning our wedding? We haven't even held hands yet. Slow down, guys. <laughs> it's okay, we're just joking. So, where are you going for the honeymoon? <laughs> <coughs> Hello? I'm up here, stupid. Ah, uh, very funny. Don't expect me to join you. Come down. So, I have good news and bad news. What do you want to hear first? Hmm. Well, the bad news will make the good news sound better. Okay, I don't really know how to say this. Amber has officially replaced you. Amber Farley? You're dreaming. She's just a quiet background character. Not anymore. You should have seen the way people were crowding around her this morning. It was like she was handing out free money. 
I've always been suspicious about that girl. So, do you want to do anything about it? Of course I do, but it's not that easy. Everyone hates me now. Good morning, Mrs. Positive. <sighs> because of what happened with Dan. Nobody takes me seriously anymore. I think I'm some sort of boy crazy, brainless slut. Well, if you've run out of ideas, I have a suggestion. What? You know how I said I was going out with Jack Butler? Yeah, that was a lie. He likes Amber. What? She never told me. She said she had a boyfriend from another school. She probably wanted to keep it private. Or maybe she just didn't trust you because they kissed at the party in plain sight. What? I never saw that. It was outside the canteen, around the back of the school. So you saw? Yeah, I was walking out because I was on cleanup duty for the party. Another punishment for old Smith. Okay, so she's a liar, but everyone loves her. The one way you could take her down is if you managed to kiss Jack, somewhere Amber would see. Then she'd have the whole school to answer to, if they asked her why she was upset. What do you mean she'd have the whole school to answer to? Like, what's she hiding? Apart from the fact that she's with Jack. That's not really a big deal, people wouldn't hate her for that. Okay. I wasn't gonna tell you this, but I changed my mind. Everyone says, she's going out with Liam. That little, ugh! I can't believe I never suspected she'd do this. Liam accuses me of cheating, and then he does the same thing days after we broke up. Okay, I hate Amber too, but it's not exactly cheating if you guys broke up. Still, we broke up two days ago, and now everyone's saying he's got a new girlfriend? Already? They're a perfect match to lying, cheating, scumbags. She might have been doing this because she's jealous or something. I mean, who wouldn't be? You're the most popular girl in school. Not anymore, thanks to her. We are going to destroy them. I am done with tolerating that trash on legs. She's gonna wish she never stepped foot in this school. Oh my gosh, did you hear that Tia and Liam broke up? Are you kidding me? They've been together forever. Guys, shut up, he's here. It's not like you would care. Why don't you ask him? Ask him what? Well, you know, ask him out. He's single and you liked him for forever. N no, I, I can't. I, I don't, uh... Come on, Mia. Don't be such a killjoy. Do it! Uh, sheesh, Mia. Uh, Chloe! <laughs> it's okay. Did Tia really cheat on you? I... Who sent it? I said I'm not going to tell you or anyone. Besides, why does it make a difference? The main thing is that it was sent rather than who sent it. Anyway, uh, see you later. We don't have any geography homework, right? Uh, yeah, the research on volcanic ash. Shoot, is the computer room open? Probably, I don't know. Thanks. Hey. Hey. You said about the geography research? Yeah, I would stay and talk, but I really need to do it for afterwards. I didn't do enough on mine either. Wanna come and do some hardcore copy and paste? I'd love to. Come on. Damn, it's locked. Maybe we could go old school and use the textbook. There was nothing in there on volcanoes. Maybe we could sneak out somewhere and use our phones. Where though? The nerds would catch us if we went in the field and rat us out. I know a place. Follow me. It's kind of dark and dusty, but it'll do. Is this where? Mm-hmm. There's good Wi-Fi signal in here. I'll connect. Okay, if you Google the chemical content of volcanic ash and I'll find us a case study, then we could just send each other the notes and copy them down. Good idea. How romantic. Researching volcanic ash in a dusty dark storage room with only your phones for company. 
Come to think of it, that could be a good opening for a horror story. Suddenly, Amber screamed. She only had one bar of Wi-Fi! Please don't scream. <laughs> don't worry, not all of us are drama queens. Well, I think we all know who you mean by that. I think everyone in the school with a brain feels sorry for you now. <laughs> I thought you liked her. I did. What happened? I haven't really seen the bad side of her. So, you saw her and changed your mind? Yeah. I've just sent you my notes. Can you send me yours when you're finished? Okay. Hey, what's this up here? Oh my gosh, it's a kid's bike. I dare you to ride it. Dares first. Fine, I will. Ugh, geez, this thing is heavy. You sure it's for kids? No. <laughs> Ah, and this is why you don't try and do a wheelie. Stop, you're gonna break something. People are gonna hear us. Yeah, and I actually care. Okay, if it's bothering you, then I'll stop. <laughs> it's just that we're not supposed to be down here and teachers might hear us. Okay, whatever you say, Lewis Killjoy. Shut up. <laughs> we should probably go. <laughs> Can anyone hear us? I don't think so. Good. So, on the topic of ruining Amber Farley? Well, I've been thinking, maybe we just need to expose the truth. You know, how she might be cheating on her secret boyfriend. Replacing the might be with definitely is. But earlier you said that people don't listen to you. There's always someone that doesn't hear the rumors. There's bound to be a group that have no idea how I did my math homework on Monday. True. Tell them, and maybe they'll spread it. Sneaky as well. Nobody else is going to know it was us. Amber won't know who to pick on. And even if she did find out, that girl couldn't insult anyone if her life depended on it. She's pretty weak. The only reason everyone loves her is because she's new and she used to be your friend. You know what? I'm guessing that was all an act. Just to get popular. Throw that in there as well. I will. Okay. Right now, we need to socialize. Find out who didn't hear the rumors. Tell them. Crap. We'll do it next week. I sit next to Amelia in geography. Wish me luck. You're gonna need it. Thank god I'm next to Crystal. She doesn't talk to anyone, so she wouldn't know. Maybe you should start with her. No point, really. I need to tell someone who can't keep a secret. Crystal never says anything to anyone. She'd be useless. Whatever you say. Oh no, we're late. Why is that a big deal? I'm already on a warning from Miss Pritchard. If I'm late again, I'm in after school detention. Just keep it down and she won't notice. Afternoon, glad to see you're all sat down. Oh yeah, I just forgot the rules don't apply to Miss West and Miss Russell. Take a seat, if you want to. Or you could just continue to talk and not pay attention to me. Sorry. Jeez, what's her problem? Right, I hope you've done all your research on volcanoes, because today you're going to be working on a project. Emily, can you head out the criteria sheets? Thank you. I'm allowing you to pick your partner for this. Don't make me change my mind. You can change seats if you want, but make it quick. Holly, uh, should we work together? Okay. Should we sit at my desk? Hey. <laughs> Who are you going with? Uh, Tia. Sorry. What? Of course not, silly. I'm going with you. <laughs> you sure? Because from the looks of things, Tia doesn't have anyone to go with either. Well, she's going with her old friend Scarlet. I never really liked her. Shut up, she might hear you. Honestly, I'm past caring what either of them think of me. Tia's already shown me she has no respect for me left. Let's change the subject. Okay. What to? One sec, miss? Yes? When did this project do in? Next Thursday. Okay, thanks. We don't have much time. Uh, do you want to come to my house after school to work on it? When? Tomorrow night, if that's okay with you. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going swimming. We can work on it at break if you want. Okay, should we go to the library tomorrow at lunch then? Sounds like a plan. We still have all lesson to do this though. Well, we have all our research. How about we do uh, little boxes with our facts and then find a few pictures tomorrow and then just stick them onto some paper. Okay, I'll just go get us some paper and we can get started.
you remember that Freya and Megan were gonna come and sit with us, right? Yeah, it's just how are we gonna fit all of us on this table? Well, it looks like they're gonna move soon, so maybe we should go on to that one. Okay. Finally, we got a table that can actually seat four people. Let's go. Uh, should we just move a couple of chairs? And we'll sit here. You know that feeling when a teacher just stares at you for ages and you have no idea what you've done wrong? OMG, yes. This pressure was just like... And after about a minute, I realized I didn't have a partner. I hate it when teachers don't tell you and just expect you to figure it out. If we knew what they wanted us to do, then we'd actually like do it. Just out of interest, how does everyone know about the breakup? Well, Lexi was in that room. I don't want to be rude, but when she hears something like that, let's just say she can't keep it to herself. That explains it. Um, do you guys like her? No comment. We never really talk. Definitely not. One day, I heard her and Tori saying I was a stuck-up wannabe. Their pretty little eyes with fake eyelashes that cost more than my school bag didn't see me right behind them. That is just low and pretty stupid. I don't like her either. She's just one of those dumb gossips that everyone loves for no good reason. Copy that. I'm going to get cake. Anyone else coming? Did someone say cake? <laughs> Do you have a cake jar or something? I don't know. Probably. Come on, let's go. Come to think of it, I want a slushie. Wait for me! I better go. I have a biology test I need to revise for. Oh, okay. Remember the answers. We have it next week. Whoa. Is this really happening? Huh? They're talking to us. And they usually talk to Tia. We're... popular. Of course it's happening. This was our plan. Everything we've done for this has paid off. We are popular.